Pukaki! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Lunchroom Syndicate at the Jock Table. I am Christopher. Uh, I am Jay. And that is Jay indeed. Tonight, 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 <laughs> we are talking the New York Rangers all-time team, continuing on our NHL All-Star team series, if you will. Uh, yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. It's original six team. You can't go wrong with original six. No, and if this is your first time joining us, how we are picking the teams here, uh, Christopher and I each have our own personal criteria as we're going through and deciding on what is most important to us, but we are picking four of each forward group. We are picking three of both sides of the defense and two goaltenders to put together the best of the best when it comes to the New York Rangers franchise. You know what they say, though. Let's do that hockey. We are going to go with our tier uh, tier rankings for players here again, where white is good enough to make this list, but you're not in consideration beyond that. Red is... You know, we got a little more deciding to do, and blue is you are a sure bet going up top. We won't have a face of the franchise here to decide upon. Who are you putting up for nominations? Not for nom. Ooh, yeah, there is some good ones here. For <laughs> nomination, I am going with Mr. Captain himself, one of the all-time greats, Mark Messier. In terms of captain, not one of the all-time greats, the all-time great captain. That's a heck of a pick. Um, but fails in comparison to Brian Leach, the best defenseman to ever play for the Rangers. I don't think it's even close, and we've had some good ones. Uh, Brian Leach at 981 points in a little over 1,100 games. That's 981 for a defenseman. That's a hell of a total. That is a hell of a total. Definitely. Brian Leach is a great pick for sure. There's many good picks here. But Mark Messier came to New York out of the shadow of Edmonton. He came over to New York, brought New York their first title in 50-plus years. He's not going to get the face of the franchise of Edmonton. I'm giving it to him for the – New York Rangers. Well, we can't put both of them. Who are we going to go with? So when it came time for that cup, he made sure he was the face of that going forward. So it is going to be Mark Messier for face of the franchise here. Let's make it interesting. Let's go right wing first. Okay. Well, who are we considering between here for the right wing side? <laughs> We'll get to that. <laughs> On this right side, oh my God. We are we are considering Andy Bathgate, Bill Cook, Ron Doge. Ron, teach me how to Dougie. Marion Gabrick, Mike Gartner, Rod Gilbert, Anders Hedberg, Yaramir Yager, Alexei Kovalev, Brian Mullen. Bob Nevin and Thomas Samstrom or Thomas Samstrom. I don't know. Andy Bathgate, over a point per game player, solid amount of penalty minutes, good amount of assists and goals. I feel like he's at minimum red, but probably blue. I, I would think he's got to be blue. Uh, yeah. Reason we'd go a little bit lower on somebody like Andy Bathgate is we weren't alive in the 1700s to watch him play. Exactly. Uh, which is going to be the curse here of Mr. Bill Cook as well. 367 points and 474. So under the point per game, when we're comparing him to Andy Bathgate, he would come behind. I got to go red on Bill Cook. Bill Cook. Probably, I agree, a probably similar case for Ron Duguay. Uh, except uh, yeah, he's a... Uh, White with the stats, blue with the hair, so probably a red player. Uh, yeah, you say that, man. 
you know how we put together these lists, though. The hair, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, I, I can't. He's got to get serious consideration. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm marking him blue. Fair enough. I'm marrying Gabrick with really close to a point per game there. I just don't think of marrying Gabrick with the Rangers. So to put up those kind of points and to leave him white is a little shocking for me, but I think of him with a lot of teams before I think of him as a Ranger. Mike Gardner, a name I've heard of but don't know a whole lot about. Uh, 322 games played, a little bit below point per game average, but does have more goals and assists. You know I like that. I'm, I'm surprised you don't know him more than that. I'm also surprised Mike Gartner didn't put more time in with the Rangers. I know him as a Ranger more than anywhere else in the league. One of the NHL greats there, Mike Gartner, with that 94 team, but I got to consider him blue. Rod Gilbert is a blue player in 1,065 games, 1,021 points, a machine offensively. And there's Hedberg, another name that, honestly, I just don't know much about, but almost a point-per-game player. Kind of has similar stats to Bill Cook. So probably in the red category. We have Yarmer Yager, 277 games played, 319 points. This guy is going to be battling with Dino Cicerelli for making the most amount of teams. Um even playing under 300 games, I think it is a crime to leave Yermer Yager off this team. Kovalev was a really good player. I remember him a bit. 330 points in 492 games. Not excessively, excessively impressive to what other guys we have here. Does have a decent amount of infractions. I feel like he had, he's a red tier, but the part of me wants to put him white. Moving on to Brian Mullen, who I just don't know anything about. So he's staying white for me. Ah, uh, no, 504 games played, 342 points. And a um, Mr. Rogers haircut. But again, kind of same with Lexi Kovalev. The points just ain't there for the amount of games played compared to what we know, what we have on this list. He's a white for me. Tomas Sandstrom. I think the point per game is, and he has 563 penalty minutes. I always like, it is fun to see more penalty minutes in games played. I always enjoy that too. I, I, I agree with the Reds here. We have five players here with four selections. Is there anybody that uh, does not make it? Do gay? Yeah, nobody's teaching him how to do gay. So he's out. Uh, my order would go uh, Rod Gilbert, Mike Gartner, Andy Bathgate, Yermer Yager. Let's head on over to the left wing side. We have here on the left side, pa- Pavel Buchnevich. Which Navich, I said it right in my head six times to make sure I got right out loud and I still fucked it up. Adam Graves, Vic Hadfield, Chris Kiter, Chris Kreider, fuck, Alex Lafrenier, Don Baloney, or Maloney, Rick Nash. Hey, I remember that guy. John Ogredick. Ogrodnik. Ogrodnik. I like Ogredick better. <laughs> Lynn Patrick, Walt. Poddubney. 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 Dean P- Pantiris. I don't know why I had another R there. Whoopsie. And Steve Vickers. Pavel Buchnevich, really good player. Modern era, he stays white for me. Adam Graves, a uh, ton of games played, good solid amount. I feel like the most games on this list, I feel like he's got to be a blue. Vic Hadfield, not as many games with him, though. That is a name that I exclusively know from the New York Rangers. Captain there. Uh, Vic Hadfield is a blue for me. Chris Kreider. Kind of a heart and soul type of guy for the modern day New York Rangers teams. I feel like it'd be a disservice not to put him at least on red, but that's as high as I would go. Alex Lafreniere, the number one overall pick. Does he look like he is deserving of the first overall so far in his career? No. No. Is he a bust? Uh, I'm not going to go that far, but I have seen players put up better numbers and be called a bust. He stays white. Alex Lafreniere, not going number one here. Don Maloney Maloney. I don't know anything about him from actual playing, but he has really... Really solid stat line. Uh, 
I just don't know anything about them, which is part of the problem, but feels bluey. Uh, Rick Nash, uh, better points than I was expecting because when he went to uh, the Rangers, all I remember hearing about how Rick Nash is not performing up to Rick Nash standards, you will for sure make another team. Uh, but you're not making this one. Sorry, Ricky. John Ogerdick. Didn't really know him as a, as a Ranger at all, but had a pretty solid point total for games played. Just not a lot there. For me, whitish. Okay. I agree. Uh, but, I, but again, I just like saying Ogerdick. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to let you go ahead and hit up uh, Lynn Patrick here as well uh, because I don't want you to go through and see the games played for Walt and put him below anything below blue so you can hit okay. Lynn Patrick all right Lynn Patrick someone from the old old time era you know literally nothing about him it's a name that I know um, which tells you something from a guy that old but his stats don't hold up to a blue rating for me Walt Padubny I mean, over a point per game, just a hell of a player. Another one of those uh, players I think that's going to be like a Dino Cicerelli type where we're going to be seeing him up quite a few times. Walt Padubny is a blue. Dean Prentice, 666 games played, probably hated by the masses. 422 points. Again, another old-timey guy, though, so I don't know much about him. He had time served, that's for the answer. So where are you going? Red. Steve Vickers. Getting ready to shoot a porno in the 70s. <laughs> 30 more games than Dean. 586 points. A considerable amount more. Uh, penalty minutes, uh, you know, a little bit more with that too, but not enough to bump him up any higher than Dean Prentice for me. Okay, so we have our four. Is there any specific order that you'd like to see them in? I'm going to go Graves, Maloney, Padubny, Hadfield. Hadfield was my number one. So our left wingers here for the Rangers, Adam Graves, Vic Hadfield, Don Maloney, and Walt Padubny. Let's finish out the forward group. We'll stay at center. We already have Mr. Mark Mezzi up there, our face of the franchise. We are also going to be talking Frank Boucher, Phil Esposito, Phil Goyette, Wayne Gretzky, Camille Henry, Kelly Kissio, Pierre LaRouche, Mark Pavlik, Gene Rotelli. Sorry, Walt. Um, I'm just going to call you Walt Kachuk. I know it's pronounced a little bit differently. And Mika Zabajad. Frank Boucher here, old time guy. I'm going to mark him as a red tier, which with the names on this list, red tier is certain death. Next up is Phil Esposito, uh, 422 games played, almost a point per game. That is a name that I know and think of with New York. He feels like a blue tier for me. Phil Goya is a blue tier player for sure with 397 games played and 329 points. Um, just somebody that he's a ranger he's a new york ranger he is a blue tier next up the great one number 99 his last stop on his illustrious career you know about wayne gresky i don't have to say anything about wayne gresky he's not known for his ranger time he, he's known for two other teams so he's a red tier i'm gonna i'm gonna bump him up you can put up over a point per game with the team for over 200 games at the end of your career your blue tier uh, Camille Henry, oh man, you get an opportunity to zoom in on that picture. What a beauty, man. <laughs> just got this cocky stance. He's just like this scrawny little wiry guy, this shitty grin going, let's, let's get out there, fuck some shit up, play some hockey. Because I'm getting tired of everybody being a blue tier on this list, I'm going to mark you down for a red, but shit, Camille. And more goals and assists with 600 games played. That's what I think's all super cool. Does that, does that mean you want him blue? I mean, we got to draw a line somewhere, don't we? Yeah. Uh, are we That's drawing the it there? Let's bump him to blue. Kelly Kissio. This would have been pre-Mark Messier times. Like he was the guy with the Rangers for a long time. He's blue tier again. Pierre Lerouche. Somebody that I don't know as well. Um, just under a point per game. 
Um, but talking that line that we got to find, uh, I don't know him. So I'm going red based off of that. Mark Pavlich. Oh, he's known for the miracle on ice. I, I just don't know much about him on the Rangers. So a cool story right here. What a tragic story this this guy has from accidentally killing his best friend at a hunting trip. Um, his girlfriend that he was living with fell off of a balcony and died. He struggled with CTE when he was older. He committed suicide, and that was fairly recently. It's a really interesting story. It's more interesting than his time with the Rangers. John Ratatouille. <laughs> he looks like every dad in every American sitcom. There a very long time, played a hell of a role, put up a lot of points, um, he's another guy that, you know, we, we probably could have talked about uh, six people easily for a face the franchise. He's one of them. Walt Kachuk is a blue shirt. Big, big dude. Not only could he pull off a dead ringer for the live action Doc Ock, he played a shit ton of games with, uh, with the old timey Rangers, 945 with 678 pound, or points to go with 556 penalty minutes if we had a current face of the franchise it would be Mika Zibanejad but the current state of the Rangers is meh probably a little easier to put red tier based off of who else we have I don't know how we're going to get three more out of Gretzky, Goyette, Esposito, Kissio, Henry, Ratelli, and Walt. I think you could put Ratelli on there the fact that he would be in the face of the franchise discussion. Uh, the next one for me is Walt. I mean, that's 945 games with the blue shirts. Big guy, produced, did everything for him. I'm Walt, for me, he's got to go up. Camille Henry barely made blue. I originally had him red. He's probably the first one to get rid of. Goyette is the one that I'm least familiar with, so he's probably the next one off. Uh, Phil Esposito. I, I'm going to say, well, I just know him for a different team. Like, I don't know Wayne Gretzky for a different team, so that's not even a valid argument, which would put Kelly Kissio probably above them. Are you going to put as Kelly as Kissio <laughs> over Wayne Gretzky? I, I can't. Now we're at Phil Esposito or Wayne Gretzky. Phil Esposito, end of his career with the Rangers, not much under a point per game where Wayne Gretzky was over a point per game. Ask New York Rangers fans, who are they going to remember more? It's Wayne Gretzky. Our final selections here at center, and it's a good crew core. Mark Messier, the face of the franchise. Gene Ratelli, Walt, and Wayne Gretzky. The right defense. We have big bad Jeff Buka. Boom! Adam Fox, Dan Girardi, Ott Heller, Alexander Karpatsev, Michael Roosevelt, Rayo Rustalainen, and Sergei Zubov. Jeff Bukaboom, if you want to know what his game style was, read his fucking name. Not known for his scoring touch, but 1,157 penalty minutes. Blue Jeff tier at this group. Uh, then we have Adam Fox. He's at 125 games so far with the Rangers. He already has a Norris trophy to his name because we are on the right side. He's at least a red, even though, even with how young he is. Dan Girardi, uh, 788 games, played 230 points. Not the best stats for, for what I thought he would be. Mm. See, I wouldn't really think of him much as stats either. Um, yeah, he had a lot of games with him, 788. Um, more than serviceable, but an all-time great. just not in the cards for me. Uh, Heller, I barely know the name with him. Uh, his stats don't hold, hold up very well either, so I'm leaving him at white. Alexander Cap Karpatsev. Karpatsev. Um, I don't know the name. I, I don't know anything about him. Um, you, you're probably familiar with the, the story of him in Russia. Plane crash took out an entire team. And he's on this list because he shouldn't be known for anything like that. Is he an all-time great? No. Was he a hell of a player? 
Yes, but there's a lot of tragic stories in, with the history of the New York Rangers players. Uh, Michael Roosevelt, big, big dude. Like him, but man, he's probably staying white. Rail Rustelainen. Uh, 308, almost a point per game right-handed defenseman. That's pretty damn good. That alone probably makes him a blue tier. Sergey Zubov, 165 games, 156 points. Um, Zubov is one of the greats uh, in the NHL. Um, I don't know him with his time with the Rangers as well. I'm going to mark him as a red. We now have to decide between a guy who put up the points and wasn't there as long or a guy who's just starting off and we don't know what he's going to do in the future, but it's looking very promising at his young age. Normally in this situation, I would say there's Adam Fox feels like it's too soon. It's too soon. But Adam Norris won a... Adam Fox won a Norris Trophy. Adam Norris did win a Fox Trophy. Is that the Norris Trophy the deciding tiebreaker there? It is for me. Uh, probably the biggest decision to mark Sergei Zubov as a red was because I looked back at Adam Fox and said I'd take Adam Fox over Zubov. Jeff Bukovum, Rayo Rostelainen, and Adam Fox is our all-time Rangers right defense group. Well, let's uh, talk about the D, the left D. Left D, we're starting off Barry Beck, Bill Gadsby, Ron Greshner, Harry Howell, Brian Leach, Dave Maloney Baloney, Ryan McDonough, Jim Nielsen, Brad Park, Brady Shea, Mark Stahl, Carol Vadnais. Barry Beck, uh, an enforcer type defenseman that still put up 239 points. Um, Barry Beck for me is a red tier. Next up is Bill the Great Gadsby. I, I, I don't know anything about him, so he's a white tier for me. He's a white tier for me too. If I put up a picture of Hannah Gadsby instead, he'd probably be blue. Ron Greshner, an, another one of those guys like. It's weird we have them. If we're going to be talking face of the franchise, we argued two of them and two others that we could have gone with are going to be same position. Um, Ryan Greshner is another one that we could have been talking face of the franchise. 982 games with a blue shirt, 610 points, over 1,200 penalty minutes. Ryan Greshner is blue as fuck. Over 1,100 games played. Harry Howell, great number of games played but don't know much about them so i'm, I'm kind of torn I, I feel like the right answer with him is red brian leach again don't need to get into anything more with him already hit it and the other maloney baloney dave baloney maloney coloney conies he was a mean motherfucker back there mm. blue I was never a huge Ryan McDonough fan, but I, I probably need to recognize him a little bit more than what I should, so I'd go red. Jim Nielsen, a name I really don't know, unfortunately, but has a bunch of games played as well. 810 games played with two, almost 300 points and 766 penalty minutes, but just don't know the name. Okay. So it's, a, it's a white for me. If we go and we look at top 100 players lists of NHL greats, Brad Park is going to be on most of those lists. So blue tier. Brad Park's blue tier. Brady Shea. 370. I don't remember him as a as a as a as a as a ranger. Really? That's all yeah. I know him as. I know. Uh, 307 games play, 112 points. Nothing stands out for me here. I think he's a white tier for me. Mark Stahl, uh, there a very long time. So for the amount of time that he was there, I'd go red. What about Carol? Oh, man, this looks like a Carol. Carol, um, uh, Vad Vad Vadness. Uh, I don't know anything about him. That's a hairdo, though, I'll tell you that. Don't. I've never heard of the guy before this. Um, Pretty, pretty solid numbers. I feel like he's a white tier for me, though. Three selections. We have four players, and we know Brian Leach is 
number one. Who do you have? Who would you have at number two? I feel like with what you said about Brad Park, he almost he has to be number two. Ron Greshner. I might have argued for him at number two. Um, so Brian Leach, Brad Park, Ron Greshner, left defense. The most important position in hockey, the goaltender. Um, not a lot here. Eddie Guy Komen, Henrik Lundqvist. How do you not remember Cesar Maniago? Mania, oh yeah. It doesn't matter where he's playing, you're going to get shit wins, and most of them by shutout. Yes. Cesar Maniago, what a beaut. Mike Richter and John Van Breesbrock. I don't know if we need to do tears here with the goaltenders because John Van Beesbrook, a very good goaltender. He's not going to make it. Um, Cesar, not going to make it. Eddie, not going to make it. It's easy. Easy. Henrik Lundqvist, Mike Richter. Uh, who goes number one? Who goes number – was Mike Richter the goalie for the 94 Cup team? Yeah, he was. So I know you, I know you want to argue Henrik Lundqvist. Mike Richter's got that cup. The king goes number one. That's. I feel uh, I feel I, I feel I mean, a bit dirty about it. I but... I hate doing that. I'm taking out biases, Henrik Lundqvist was probably the better goaltender. I'm going to be frank here and say, outside of a few big names, this is a bit more of a disappointing group than I had expected. I mean, so it's a good it's a good group, but like for what I would expect from original six, I'm there's there's some holes here. Look, let's take a look at players who were on after the '94 team that were not part of the '94 team that came in after that: Gretzky, Yager, Fox, Lundqvist. That's four. That means there's 16 players that were not on either on the '94 team or played prior to your knowledge of hockey. You know, when we were talking about Detroit, like even the older guys, I knew their names. And it's, I would take the Detroit team over this team. But thank you again for joining us here on the Lunchroom Syndicate. This has been the New York Rangers all-time team. Let us know what you think in the comments. Jay, do you have anything to close us off? Yeah. No, no, Jay doesn't. Just... Until next time. Deuces. Mark Vazier won two cups sans Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. How many won. did Wayne Gretzky win after Mezier? Zero. I'm really starting to buy into your into your thought process on how cups or championships are overrated to some extent. He bent him over with his pants down and a hose between his legs squirting water <laughs> through his ass crack out. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, he, he did what was asked. Oh, Rod, Rod Gilbert is a, is a, a treasure. 